Oh. Oh, it's, it's big, whatever it is. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to Cross Country Bank Angler. I'm back at it again today. Got off work a little early this Friday afternoon. And you know, I'm strapped in with the waders here. And I'm gonna go out and do a little bit of exploring today, checking out a new spot, seeing if we can find anything out here. I'm gonna be fishing this little, kind of. it's kind of like a little swampy pond area. It's got like a lot of lily pads and stuff in it. Don't really know what's in here at all. I really have no clue if it's gonna be productive or not. I'm seeing uh, some kind of aquatic bird i think it's a snake bird or an anhinga which is kind of a rare rare bird around here but they like these little swampy areas i see them whenever i go to them so you know i'm always intrigued by spots like this because i just want to know what's in here i feel like and you know there's a chance it could be like something interesting like a bowfin in here you know they tend to like these kind of swampy spots and it's one of my favorite species of fish to catch you know they fight really hard and you know, hit, will hit most lures that bass will hit. So um, anyway, I don't have a whole lot of time um, to say much more. You know, we're just going to go out here and explore for a little while, you know, for a few hours and, and see um, if we can catch anything out of this uh, weird uh, swampy lily pad filled um, place today. You never know until you throw. So let's go. All right, people, so the lure I'm starting off today with is a buzzbait. I'm gonna try some top water. It's a cloudy day, pretty calm. And this is a buzzbait that I built. Got it's a quad plastic blade, clear blade, kind of a bit of a finesse buzzbait. And I've got a Stanley Ribbit top water plastic, soft plastic frog or toad on the back of it. So I'm gonna make a few casts with this. See if there's anybody willing to eat it. Now, it's probably a little early for top water around me Yes. <laughs> oh, baby, it worked. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Hold on. Hold on, fish. Look at that, people. Got one on the baby Lucky 13 from Hedden. The little chugger. Top water. Had this lure in the box since I started fishing. First time I've gotten it to work. <clears throat> All right, guys, another topwater bass this year. It's starting to get dark. Beautiful fish, probably 14. Thank you, bass. Wow, topwater baby. Let's go. Appreciate you, fish. But 
part of the reason I chose this lure is one, it's weedless, so if we do cast it into the pads, we have a chance of getting it out. And two, this plastic blade lets you retrieve the bait a lot more slowly. So we're just going to do a pretty slow retrieve with it. It's creating a nice little bubble trail. I don't think I'm going to be able to wade far out in here. I'm already up to my waist. So we're just going to move along the bank. I've seen a couple of little disturbances on the surface. Don't really know what they are, if it's something small or maybe it's a bowfin gulping air. I'd love to catch a bowfin on top water. It's been a long-term goal for me that I have not achieved. It's not an easy feat. They don't hit top water that often. But you certainly can catch them on it. Oh. Got him. Oh, it's, good, it's big, whatever it is. I saw him wake on it. Oh, it's big. Is it a bass? Letting him play out here. I don't want this guy to break up and break off. It's a bowfin. It's a good bowfin. It's a tank, guys. Oh my God. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Of course, I'm hung up in all sorts of stuff. I need to get my grippers out. All right, got the grippers. Whoa, hold on there, fish. I'm not through with you. I thought I was through with you? I don't think so. He waked on it multiple times. This might be a PB, guys. Got him. No, not my grippers, please. Oh man, <laughs> that's a giant, you guys. That's an absolute giant. That's a huge fish. That's a huge fish. All right, please don't shake me. Big guy, just wanna get this bait out of your mouth. Let's get a look at this guy. This is a huge bowfin. <laughs> Can you even get him in frame? Wow, I'm shaking right now. I saw it, whoa. I saw that fish wake on it a couple of times and kind of swirl. I just sped up the retrieve a little bit and I felt that thing go under. Set the hook. I think this is a personal best to get the scale out. Beautiful fish, awesome fish, just insane. Pushing 28, maybe 30 inches, guys. 
So I'll do an estimate on the weight that way. All right, guys, one last look at this giant, the swamp tank. That thing is monstrous. And about 30, 30 inches. Let's let it go. Get her upright. There she goes. What a fish. What a fish. Yeah, she's gone. Wow. That's one of the biggest fish I've caught in fresh water. Oh man, I'm sweating. I'm out of breath. Yeah, I need a second. All right, people, so it's been about maybe 20 minutes since I caught that, uh, our, our PB bowfin. And you know, the wire on this uh, buzzbait was bent pretty bad, but thankfully I was able to, to get it straight enough to where the lure will run uh, just fine. As you can see here, no problem at all. So glad we were able to get that to hold up. The soft plastic is okay too. These Stanley frog uh, toads, you know, they're, they're, it's not like a super soft plastic. They're, they're uh, designed to withstand a couple of big fish. So glad everything seems to be back and working condition. So gonna just keep parallel on the bank. I mean, I'm gonna be, you know, fan casting as you always should from the bank pretty much. But we're gonna make sure to parallel the bank repeatedly because we know that at least one giant bowfin was holding along the bank most likely when he saw our buzzbait squeaking on by. And the fact that we caught a bowfin of that uh, magnitude in here means that this place almost definitely supports some bass too. So I wouldn't mind running into a couple of big bass. All right, people, so, you know, that buzz bait did me proud, you know, it got a pretty nice, that enormous uh, bowfin, personal best on it, but, you know, we cast around this whole area and no more hits on the, on the buzz bait, so decided to switch it up to a subsurface uh, presentation here. This is just a Zoom Super Fluke 5-inch uh, Pearl, uh, just like a little soft jerk bait, you know, weightless. I'm just going to kind of cast it out to the edge of the pads, let it sink down and just sort of twitch it back. You know, we're, we can work it fast, we can work it slow. It's just something that's going to be, you know, snag resistant and also pretty versatile. And, you know, it's going to stand out in the stained water that we have here. Or not stained water, but the off-colored water. That wouldn't have been good. We just had a, a kingfisher dive on <laughs> the, the jerk bait. Uh, sorry, buddy. That was a little misleading, obviously, to you. Uh, glad he did not succeed in capturing our fluke. That was crazy. I don't think I've ever had a bird attack my lure before. All right, people. So we. 
weren't getting any hits on the fluke. The only reaction we got to it was, or that I, knew, I could, was certain that we got to it, was that <laughs> Kingfisher over there that dived on it. Thankfully, he missed, but, um, so I switched to the old scum frog. I haven't caught a lot of fish on this. I caught my first one on it a few weeks ago, actually. It was a bat. I'm moving this over the mat and the mat of algae, and whenever we get to an opening, I let it sit for a second in case the fish has been tracking it. And I'm just retrieving it with little pops. Make it look like a little frog scampering along. Got him. Off the bed. Come here, fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. Guys, we walked, we worked this frog right over the mat. And this fish came up from the bed and smacked it. Wow, nice bass. <laughs> Whoa, baby. That fish didn't like that frog being there at all, did she? Wow, beautiful fish, guys. <laughs> Bed fishing with a, with a frog, I guess. This fish is probably like two and a half pounds. This is honestly the big, I think this was the bigger one that I saw there. Man, she got mad. She didn't like seeing that, that frog. Let's get her back. Thank you. Thank you, big mama. Appreciate that. But you know, this place, it's like half lily pads. So I'm just gonna be able to fish more of the water, more of this place with the frog than with, you know, most other lures, you know, I could technically, you know, work that fluke over the top, but you know, we weren't really getting hits on it. You know, it just seemed like that wasn't, you know, what the fish really wanted. So I thought, why not try this out for a while? All right, guys, so don't have that much time left that I'm willing to commit right now, but I've got the Whopper Plopper 110 tied on. I'm kind of at the opposite side of the lake where I started. Seems like this is one of the deeper areas. So, you know, this is just kind of like a contrast with the frog, you know, where the frog is very natural and you know, slower and lifelike. The plopper is loud and obnoxious. You know, more likely to call in a fish from a distance. Is a fish. Is a fish. Another bow fin. Another bow fin, guys. Oh. Wow. What a hit. Not as big as the last one. Oh. Goodness gracious. What a hit, though. Oh. 
Nice one. Yeah. Fish, we got you. Woo, mad. Angry fish. Angry fish. Oh. Woo, man. This fish is strong. He got out of the grippers. All right. Bowfin number two of the day. Another bit nice one, guys. Maybe 24 to 26 inches. Let's let him go. This one's probably seven pounds at least five probably more i'm just going to release them gently with the grippers see you buddy Whew. wow did you see that fish jump after he got those hooks? Oh, man. What a hit. All right, people. It's time for me to go ahead and call it here. Been out here for maybe, you know, three, close to four hours. Probably three and a half hours, something like that. But, uh, you know, this wasn't a, a video with a lot of catches. You know, sometimes I'll post videos and... You know, I'll be in a creek or something and, you know, catch 15, 20 little fish, you know, different species. And I enjoy that style of fishing a lot, but this is another style that I really like. You know, going out here and targeting these bowfin, you know, going out to the little backwaters and the little swamps. But yeah, it paid off today. You know, we, you know, a, a long term goal of mine has been to catch a bowfin on top water. And today we caught two, which is. Uh, yeah, pretty amazing to me. I, it's pretty rare for me to catch more than one bowfin in a day. Um, you know, I, I fish with lures, so, um, you know, that's not necessarily the best way to target them. You, d you certainly can catch a lot of bowfin on lures, but, you know, a lot of people use cut bait and stuff like that. But, I mean, those fish are insanely strong, a lot of fun um, to catch on lures when they will bite them. And they were they were hitting him today. They wanted a loud sort of topwaters type lure, you know that buzz bait uh, called the the new PB uh, both in there. Uh, anyway, you know there's a couple of little spots like this around me. Um, you know there's that other spot that I went to last year and caught a both in as well. It's kind of like this, you know, shallow, swampy. Um, the water is a lot more stained though, um, but I might go back there and throw some top water lures around and, and try to catch a boat fin there um, Or maybe a few sort of like here, you know, it could be fun or go back with the spinner bait or or, or a wake bait or something like that Because um, yeah, it's just like a unique style of fishing and you know to catch fish that other people don't catch You gotta do things that other people don't do really an amazing fish. I, I love catching both fin. I love that's one of my favorite species uh, for sure. They're just an amazing uh, native fish. Um, I think it seems like it's a, it's a, you know, a lot of people, you know, with both in it's either you love them or you hate them. You know, either you like them because of how strong they are and, and um, how, you know, how, how fun they can be to catch. And, you know, the fact that they're kind of like a native, uh, you know, very resilient fish or you hate them because you know, you believe some misconceptions about them, you know, how they, you know, they eat bass or, or that they, you know, can wipe out populations of other fish. And yeah, there's a lot of people that, that kind of discriminate against them and, and will kill them if they catch them. And I mean, it, it makes sense to be frustrated catching a bowfin if you're, you know, in like a bass tournament or something, you know, and, and your favorite lure gets, you know, destroyed or you think you've caught the big fish of the tournament and it winds up being a big bowfin. So, you know, if you're a pro, I kind of understand that aspect of it. You know, if you're a ba pr pro bass angler, but I don't think any pro bass anglers are watching this channel. So, uh, but yeah, leave me, uh, you know, leave a comment on this video. Let me know what you think about uh, catching this species of fish. Do you, you know, are you inspired to kind of go out with uh, the waders and, and try to, um, 
find some little swampy spots like this or do you know of areas uh, around you that have bowfin um, because if you do you should give it a shot they, they can be a lot of fun to catch and you don't have to you know sit there with a piece of cut bait to catch them you can you can try different lures and have a good time so uh yeah if you made it this far in the video you should definitely hit that subscribe button you know you should like the video leave a comment let me know what you think about uh the channel you know we're going to be posting weekly videos here on the channel uh bank fishing lure fishing from the bank wading multi-species fishing with lures so if that's your jam go ahead and subscribe and thank you for watching